Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the grand finale of Miss Uganda UK 2022. Thank you very much for honouring all our invites. Thank you for supporting us, for coming through this evening to support the ladies and, of course, the cause of Miss Uganda UK. I still can't believe it's been 10 years of Miss Uganda UK, organised by me, Omumbeja Jacqueline Matovu Dumba. I welcome you on another spectacular night. The girls are going to put on a great show. We are going to put on a great show. But without your support and you being here, it just makes it extra special. Let's just go through the journey. Throughout the years, it's, it's been a constant um, change because as most of you would know, Michigan, the UK, every year has different contestants. So every year we have different ladies that come through. The main thing I believe that has changed through the decade is the progress, the steady progress we've had within our girls going on to do other things, either within the Uganda community or as on, on the outskirts. Uh -huh. The journey has enabled them to go on to, to prosper as much as they came from Michigan, the UK, they're going through to go do their other things and I believe that's the biggest change to date that has really um, changed, especially for the girls. And of course, for Miss Uganda UK now, it's, it's a brand, you know, where I started off in 2011, um, doing it with going around different places, actually looking for contestants. But in the last three, five years, we don't have to go out to look for contestants. The girls do apply, which means we set a good ground for actually your community to know, oh, Miss Uganda UK is happening every year. Let me apply, let me get ready to go and participate and join into this journey. That is a big milestone because going out there looking for girls to take part was a really, really hard job to do. But I'm glad we're on this step where now we get applications coming through. We don't have to convince the girls they actually know what they want. And by the time they come through our doors, they're ready to go. The impact Miss Uganda UK has had it comes in separate ways. So I'm going to break it down in two ways. First of all, within the community, the impact we've created by the charities we have worked for as an organisation or worked with as an organisation has been something I never thought we would actually achieve. We were campaigning against child sacrifice in Uganda, a campaign that was launched by Miss Uganda UK 2012. Gladys Chotunjire, who is also now a contestants manager and that run really really impacted with what we had to do on ground in Uganda. That saw four of our queens going back to Uganda and actually do grassroots words of spreading the word within the communities in Uganda, reaching out to different schools and making sure the kids are aware of the dangers of what's happening within the child sacrifice um, campaign. We worked with Jubilee Campaign. They were really, really supportive. Um, every time we went to Uganda, they were there with us. You know, they supported us financially, physically, but also making sure what we're doing is something that's impacting our community, something that's making a change. That was such a great drive. I come from the black, yellow and red, symbolizing a beautiful nation, gifted by nature. What was my most challenging year? Wow, that is, that is a very good question. Um, every year comes with its ups and downs because like I said at the beginning, you get different um, girls that come in every year, different sponsors and um, the team sometimes also change, you know. But I, my most challenging year has to be, on top of my head, I think it will be 2015. Uh, that's because I was heavily pregnant um, leading up to the finale and I sourced for J of Solutions to actually take over and promote Michigan the UK on our behalf. When I first started doing Michigan the UK, my priority was two main things, consistency and transparency. So it, there was no option in 2015 to say, Do you know what, it should, we shouldn't go ahead. 
so I was so grateful for Job Solutions to actually take in charge to say, you know what, we'll do it. They only had three months to promote it. And yeah, the show happened. For me, I think on top of my head, that would have been the most challenging year to date. <laughs> My most memorable contestant? Oh wow, no, no, I love all my girls. I remember each contestant from 2011 till 2022, so I'm, I'm gonna keep that to myself. They're all memorable in their ways. <laughs> what has been my highlight of 2022? Of course, we came out of COVID. Um, it meant I was not consistent, or we're not consistent, or nobody was really. So I had to get my energy, I had to get my mojo, I had to drive up my team to say, okay, we're doing it again. But it is our 10th year anniversary, we have to go all out, full power. We need to make sure the ladies that come in um, this year, they're fully supported because of what happened for the last two years, first of all. But also some of the ladies applied in 2020 and they've actually waited for two years and they are gonna be on this stage or they've already been on stage age today so it is it has been a big highlight for me to see the young ladies that applied in 2020 also come back in 2022 but I've got to say overall the biggest highlight for me is the charity drives that we did sponsored by Nala the charity drives were to support Draw a Smile Uganda where we invite the ladies families and friends we buy them dinner and they donate to the charity this drive has taken me to Manchester, to Portsmouth, to Bournemouth and obviously in House of London. The drive was so fun. It was a pleasure meeting the ladies' families, the ladies' friends, just knowing where they're coming from, touching base with dad, mum, aunties and to see the support they're really giving their young girls, the belief they have in these young ladies, it is astonishing. That, that filled my heart. I always tell my girls when they come um, into camp, the first days they come in, does mum or dad know? Does the family know we're taking part in this Uganda UK? It's important to me because my family have been there from day one. Since I've taken part in Miss Uganda UK in 2004, my family have never stopped until this day they're here helping out. So the charity drive drove it back to the ground of community. This is what Miss Uganda is all about. Family, community and charity all in one. Where is my first queen? My first queen in, was 2011, Miss Shakira Nabakosa. She resides in London, um, South East London to be precise. She's a mother of two. Yes, I am now not only queen mother, I am grand queen mother. So 2011 is Shakira Nabakosa. 2012 is Gladys Chotinjire. 2013 is Deborah Kabahinda. 2014 is Tiffany Kawa. 2015 is Natasha Mutevi. 2016 is Bridget Katunji. 2017 is Jan Mochiwi. 2018 is Penina Wampamba. 2019, currently reigning before we crown, is Caitlin Ochana and obviously we're waiting to crown our 10th queen. Um, most of my contestants call me JM or JMD and that's, um, I think it started in 2012 with Gladys Chotunjire. When we went to Uganda, she used to call me JM, JM. This of course before I got married and her family now just calls me JM. What other nickname have you got? Oh, okay, Mama Nala. Oh, that's, that's a recent one. <laughs> As I'm the Uganda community lead with Nala, um, a few people in the community have started calling me Mama Nala, even when they call me, oh, Mama Nala, Jay Baleko. Mama Nala, how is it going? So that's the recent one. The main one that I take pride in this moment in time on this stage that we're on today, this evening, is of course the Queen Mother. What a name, what a title to have. And this name was given to me as any, every other name. I mean, we all are given names. It's not something I called myself. Queen Mother was given to me by the lovely, lovely Priscilla Anyabu when um, I was nominated for a 
BEFTA Awards and she said, let's get voting for our Queen Mother. I had never heard it before. I had never seen anybody being called this. And for one of my girls to actually give me a title that's carried me since 2013, I absolutely adore it. Thank you, Priscilla for giving me such a heavy title. And this is before I even had my daughter. So, but Miss Uganda is my first child. I always say she's my first child. She's, she's Jackie Matovu, basically. What gets me going? I love my Kaunga. I'm team Kaunga all the way. So that's Pusho. Um, of you guys, I don't know what Kaunga is. Uh, I love fish. Uh, matoke, of course. Not too keen on Matoke, but yeah. That's what gets me going. And I think it's the passion. The passion behind me doing Miss Uganda UK being have been a past contestant, have been a judge at different pageants, obviously presented at different pageants as well. So it gives me the passion, the feel, but obviously as I am the Queen Mother, as I am Mama Uganda or Patriotic about Uganda, who in right can do Miss Uganda UK? It's, it's the love. It's a love for my country, love for my community, and of course to empower, inspire all these young ladies. It's, it's amazing, it's an amazing journey. And all the ladies that have taken stage since 2011 to tonight are honestly my girls. Those are the true ambassadors of Miss Uganda UK. I am honored, I am proud to be here. Once again, thank you very much for coming, ladies and gentlemen. I know it's gonna be a wonderful night. To the ladies, I wish you nothing but the best. We've done whatever we can do. You are ready for the stage and you are ready. Any one of you is gonna be crowned Miss Uganda UK tonight. You make a perfect queen. Thank you families, thank you friends, and of course, thank you my sponsors for coming on and seeing the vision of what Miss Uganda UK does for the community. Thank you for my team for always being there, supportive for your time, and of course, for all the efforts we're putting through. I'm ever so grateful to the Uganda community at large. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming. Honestly, I can't believe it's 10 years. I can't believe we're holding it at the Dominion Centre. It is one of the things I set out to do in my 10th year to do something different. And I'm hoping I have delivered. Have a good evening. Good luck to the new thing.